there is a myth in our society that it jobs are not safe do you believe that's true if you are believing my question to you is can you show me any other field that doesn't even have any downfall at all never not possible at all so any sector any field if you consider ups and downs are common so similarly for it during the time of recession whatever the figure they are showing they are displaying in the newspaper it is not with respect to any specific region or any country that is with respect to global so apart from this if you want to make a career if your job needs to get sustained for 20 to 25 year then this clipping is for you and the blueprint which we are going to see will definitely help you and will give you a good idea of how to survive for 25 years in it come let's get started to understand this better let's classify this into 3 number 1 0 to 5 years of experience so people who are falling into this category mostly will be into this 3 number 1 startup so for uh, startup folks the main concern will be their salary only but my suggestion to you is that if you are surviving there for first 3 years then definitely for next 30 years the boom period in it is for you only contract to hire the term is so called contract to hire but the actual fact is that most of the organizations will keep you as contract employees only so keeping that into consideration you have to do a job search in in a parallel way until you get a permanent job working in well established mncs so for very first time when you see your bank account getting credited with five digits of salary obviously you will feel that your life got settled but the actual fact is that after a long run maybe after 5 or 6 years your colleague who is coming from some other organization or even your junior can able to compete at you so to avoid that you have to groom yourself so that is important for you as well Six to ten years of experience. This is considered as an intermediate level. So this is the period where a junior developer needs to push himself as a senior developer. So his main role should be mentoring for the junior developer, taking care of the deliverables, as well as he needs to be more sound in terms of technical as well as functional. Added to that, if you feel that your current profile doesn't meets the niche technologies, then this is the time that you have to get cross trained. so it may take one or two years to be more expertise on that but if you are started practicing that then your profile will always be remaining a standard one which will be having a latest technology in the market last but not the least becoming a lead this is considered to be the next level from the senior developer this again will give you one more responsibility that you have to deal up with the business as well so you are considered to be the point of contact from project manager as well as from the business so to have a successful career after 10 plus years of experience this role really plays a crucial factor now comes the most crucial part so for at least first 10 years you won't be feeling more obstacles for survival at least but for rest it is not the case and that too if your package is more then definitely you have to be into this category so for any project the backbone of the project is its project manager let it be starting from any small escalation to be achieving any milestone the first point of contact from the higher management will be the project manager so he has to take care of resources he has to take care of the deliverables as well as he needs to take care of the business so the top 3 skills that are highly required for any project managers are number 1 people management number 2 business or domain knowledge and number 3 technical knowledge so only when the technical manager like the project manager is understanding technically or he is well good in technical aspects then only he can able to do a business expansions and he can able to provide any proposal for higher management solution architect this completely deals with technology standpoint a better architecture or a better design gets derived starting from choosing the right technology to the right platform and also choosing the appropriate software so this really plays a vital role when it comes for the development of a project the cross chain skills which we discussed earlier is the key factor for becoming a better solution architect 
so once the development has been started with some specific architecture and if we found any glitches at that point of time so that will not affect only the solution architect but the entire business so this may sometimes lead into an abort state of a project itself delivery manager the success of the delivery manager not only comes by delivering a product but also delivering with its fullest values so this can be possible only when he keeps his hierarchy with full of engagement enabling the team to learn new things and also to do a cross train technologies so apart from that the team must be uh, doing a best practices like practicing agile and by increasing the competencies level so by doing this team also will be feeling more engaged and they can uh, end of the day bring up with so new values i like uh, new ideas so that those new ideas or a new pocs can help to expand the business now comes the vice president so they are the direct interactors with ceo so they must be very much clear in their actions and their directions so the whatever the steps or the actions or the decisions they are taking which will be leading the business and the entire organizations will be going forward keeping on the decisions they have been taking so now i hope that you got some clarity on how to have a prolonged career in information technology so if you feel that you need to get more update like this please hit the subscribe button so that you can grab an expose it